snowblown experience, definitely the field day when we were in the snow. I was so cold, but I just couldn't think of anywhere else I wanted to be except right there in the river. With my waders on, and we were uh, doing a conductivity test, and I was thinking about how miserable I was, but I couldn't imagine where else I wanted to be except for that moment in that stream. So we took water samples, so we got a lot of different bottles and different tests from the actual stream as well as on site, and we're able to tell a whole story of an entire watershed for these clients in a matter of two weeks. One of the very few schools in the country that has a program like this where students get to go out and have a real experience with a real client and to, to put everything that they learn in labs and throughout the curriculum here at Mines to practice. They actually get to do what they're going to do as environmental engineers before they even graduate. The other two universities that I've taught at didn't have anything like this. It was actually one of the main reasons I came to Mines because it's just such a unique opportunity for students to have this real life experience before they actually have to go out and do engineering work. So I will be a research assistant for the Great Basin Institute through the National Park Service this summer. It's going to be in their Lakewood office and I am going to be working on a project from start to finish so it'll be actually in use in a national park. Currently in California because I got an intern position with the Walt Disney Imagineering here in Glendale, California. I chose Mines way back when because this has always been a dream position of mine is to work for Walt Disney Imagineering. Specifically, my internship is with the ride development team. My team focuses on the ride aspect of any of the rides that are installed into any of the Disney parks around the world. I am currently the president or co-president of the National Society of Black Engineers chapter at Mines. It's through the National Society of Black Engineers how I got my internship. On our campus, there's a lot of individuals that don't look like me. So when I can find a group that understands what I go through with um, the biases. So it just makes me feel at home and I know me being there will also make others feel at home. So it's just something that I knew I had to join to not only better myself but to better others. We have all of these different incredible connections and these incredible relationships and these incredible bonds among our student athletes and they carry these aspects onto the field because they know how to work and they know how to how to accomplish their goals and how to be successful on exams and how to be successful on the field. Like, of course, engineering is our first passion, but now with our football team actually making a difference and being nationally recognized, it puts me more to a higher standards, and that's something that all of us as the Ord Digger football team strive to be, is to always be someone that others can look up to. Two, one. What was my favorite part of volunteering at Ord Digger camp? It offers the chance for students to talk to people that have trod the road before them, to understand the benefits of a mind's education. It's being around the students, the positivity. In a world which is seemingly negative news and pessimism, being around these young people with their energy and their positive outlook gives me confidence that the future is going to be in very good hands. It's geared toward making your transition, so first year coming to Minds is transition a lot easier. It's a good way to kind of get yourself in the Minds mindset and it's really relaxed but at the same time it's just full of energy and there's great people all around and it's just like new and exciting. New students coming to Minds, this is a really unique experience for them and they will come out of it stronger and mentally ready to experience Minds. Give it an eye! Eye!